What's going on, everybody? It's How To Tuesday, and we are going to continue on with the knots. We have been testing the knots with the Next Tech um, Force Tester, which is a little bit different than a scale in that as you pull and it breaks, it records the the highest um, the highest poundage. So that is pretty cool um, for for the knots because. Um, even when you're just, it's just a little bit more accurate. So today what we're going to talk about is, um, I've, I've received some questions about different knots. One of which is these, these different knots where you will improve them or you will do slight variations to a known knot. Does that actually make it stronger? If so, how much? And you know what? I, you always kind of assume that it does, but who knows? So we're going to figure it out today and we're going to do it with a line to lure knot or a line to hook knot and we're going to use exactly the same gear for all three of these knots we're using a gamakatsu three aught nautilus light circle hook we are using the daiwa fluorocarbon 12 pound for this a standard kind of uh leader for bonefish or or you know, something that doesn't require a shock tippet. We're going straight to uh, 12 pounds, straight to the hook. And we're also going to wear sunglasses because we don't want to get hit in the eye when this hook breaks. I certainly don't. So the knots that I have chosen today are three uh, knots that are very, very similar knots, but have a slight variation between it. The fisherman's knot, the clinch knot, as many people call it, a lot of people call it the fisherman's knot. It's one of the most simple knots you can tie. You go through the eye of the hook, you turn it five times around the line, and you go back through the loop that you've created between the hook eye and the first turn of the line, right? You would hold that tag in, pull on the, on the uh, standing line, and that is the clinch knot. The improved clinch knot would be exactly the same, and I've tied all of these with exactly the same number of turns. The improved clinch, you go through the eye of the hook, you turn five times around, you go through that first initial gap that you make when you create a, a little, little loop there between the hook eye and the first turn, but then you turn it back and go through the loop that has been created as you come off the top turn to go through the bottom so you you tuck it back through one more time that's the improved clinch and then there is a third knot that is also very similar and also very popular that goes by the name of the trilene knot the trilene knot goes through the eye of the hook makes a loop goes back through the eye of the hook then turns five times around and goes back through both of those loops just like a clinch knot but it has one more turn around the eye of the hook. So what we're going to talk about today is, does that make it stronger? Which one's the strongest? And can an extra little turn really make a big difference? So I'm going to go ahead and put my sunglasses on. We're going to start with the clinch knot. This is just the standard clinch knot, no improved clinch, no trialing knot, just the standard clinch. And I'm just going to pull on this 12 pound test and let's see what it does here. Ready? Pow. Not very strong, actually. 7.76 pounds. I thought maybe it would pull a little stronger. So on 12 pound test, that knot broke at 7.76 pounds. Okay, now we go to the improved clinch. Same kind of scale, same kind of, same hook, same number of turns. Everything is the same. Pull on this, 6.18, hmm, the improved clinch, not as strong as the clinch, okay, and the trilene, okay, here we go, much stronger, 10.89 pounds, okay, now, just going to need to find that circle hook that went flying somewhere. So I don't know about you, but that is a little bit of, of a surprise. With 12-pound test, 
the improved clinch knot was the weakest. The regular clinch knot was somewhere in the middle, and the trialing knot was at 10.89 pounds, almost, or, or basically just one pound off of the line breaking strength. So does an improvement to the knot make a difference? In some cases, yes, and in some cases, no, right? The, I would have thought that the improved clinch would have definitely been stronger than the standard clinch knot. In this case, the way I tied them right here, that was not the case. The trialing, though, with the one extra turn through the eye of the hook was significantly stronger. So if you're going to improve it, maybe improve it with the trialing knot rather than the improved clinch knot. Now this is also this would be a great one for uh, trout fishing, um, because you're you're using the clinch knot, the improved clinch knot a lot of times, um, but in some cases it would be very difficult to get the line to go through um, the eye of the hook on a tiny little dry fly. So maybe the trialing knot is out, but if you're using something like a size three circle hook, maybe the trialing knot would be a good um, a good knot for you. So anyway hope that answers your question. Does an improvement make a difference? And my answer would be sometimes. All right, that's How To Tuesday this week. We'll talk to you next week when we do another number. See you.